place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. It's about our school. She's talking to somebody. It's not long to May, it's May. May, what are you up to? You patrolling? The Tuku's gone now, the big one. You're not afraid of the little ones, are you, but the big one? Oh dear. But then I'm bigger than you and you're not afraid of me. See, look at you, trying to find a way to jump on my head. And there she is, Stop. practicing. She got a big speech at school today. Come on, Isabella, you need to put your dress in the bag so we can go to school. It's not a speech, it's a toast. A toast? It's for my performance. For you, English? Yeah. Jane is blending away something in the background. Isabella's got school. I've only really just got up, look at me. Had a bit of a coffee, try and wake up a bit. I'm on dad duty, take her to school and find some new adventure to get involved in. Most likely we're gonna start planting in our garden a bit more. Don't know what the weather's gonna be like today. The moment it's dry, on and off, rain and sun, rain and sun. It's quite nice when you try and plant as it's what the plants want. Not so great if you wanna go out and see places though, which we do want to do soon. There he is, that's Cookie. What are you up to today? He wants to go out. Cream. Cream's barking. Barking mad, I'd say, but no cream. He's reacting to something. What are you barking at? What is it? Cream does react to snakes, lizards, rats. Rats. There's rats. You like the rats, don't you? You like to react to the rats. If you see a snake, you tell me. Queen. Just gonna head on back now. Do a bit of stuff in the garden before it rains too much. Now in Leyte in Omok City where we are, you might not believe, but you can grow strawberries. Yeah, it does get that cold, but the conditions are good here. Strawberries are tasty, they're delicious. There's a lot of nutrition in them, a lot of health benefits. There she is, tying up the plants, giving them a good trim. You right, my darling? Yes. <laughs> You're busy, are you? Yeah. Busy working hard. I was just saying that we want to grow strawberries. We did last year, got a few, didn't we? But yeah. not many, but we got a, a new plan this year to try and grow even more. Yeah. Been working hard on them. As when I was growing up in England, my mum used to grow them in the back garden every June or July sometimes, but mostly June. It's nice to have our own. Yeah. Very expensive here. Very expensive to buy. In all mock, you can sometimes it. get them, but they're from they're from uh, Baguio, aren't they? Yeah. Imported, not really imported. Imported from another island, I suppose you'd say. <laughs> Potatoes. So basically, what we're going to do today is plant a few things in the garden and do a little bit of work to protect what we're planting. So we've got three containers here. These were these again. These were purchased on Shopee. And they're perfect for growing potatoes. They have a good depth and there's a window here, which I'm not going to open just yet, but you can open to see the progress. You can sort of reach around and see if they're ready to harvest. They're all empty at the moment. We have some white potatoes. Sometimes you leave a potato for a long time, it becomes a seed, seeded potato, you get a root, but we're going to try without. It should still work. It might take a little bit longer, it should still be okay. I've never planted potatoes before. It's an experiment, is it? It's an experiment to see if we can grow them. I'm not holding, you know, I'm hoping for the best. I'm not absolutely 100% convinced, but we will try. Nothing to lose by trying. Sometimes living here, growing stuff, you have to just try. You taught me that. Who did? You did. You showed me we can grow strawberries here. I never would have believed it. Never would have believed it. Give it a try. Nothing to lose. This was like um, 30 pesos for a little bag of potatoes. You can get them from the market even cheaper, but we like the small variety. You don't see these that often in the marketplace. 
That's a good porous thing, that one. Very nice. The these are delicious. Bowls. Oh, these are amazing. Especially if you've got mint as well, like a mint sauce mm. with a Sunday dinner. Oh, that oh. reminds me of. <laughs> English. Of, of English English dinner. Sunday dinners. We have the potatoes, the herb potatoes they're called sometimes. And they've got a bit of mint sauce. Oh, really nice. So we're gonna do our strawberries now. And these are the hooks we've got for our strawberry bags. So a pack of two, only about 200 pesos with delivery. Look at that, that's uh, amazing. There's a flower then. How many strawberries? Three? Um, at the moment, well, there is five. Five strawberries? Five. Uh, this is it's flower quite... and that one as well. So it's going to be uh, like yeah, even more. seven. So the last time we only actually start. grew three, didn't we? We got three fruits. I want to start flowering. Oh, so. yeah. This reminds me of England. It really does. My mum used to grow them. We're going to try and put some of these into a different type of container to protect them even better. That's the enemy here is the snails and the slugs and the worms. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Prices. Yeah. Look at what flavors have we got? Avocado. Uh, oh, avocado ice cream. Okay. Yes. Uh, dragon food. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Chocolate Nube. So they, they cater then for orders, yeah, for parties. and it probably will be sell it So if you have a party, you can just order the whole... Order the whole tub, <laughs> the whole container. We're not going to Which one do you want? Um, Avocado, did you want? Avocado. Yeah, so it's avocado, mango, graham, and um, dragon, dragon fruit. fruit. Yeah. I fancy dragon fruit. So, what's the options of the containers? Ang inyong, what's the option in your side? One, can I have a like 20, 30, 40, 50. Ah, okay. So there's 20, there's 30, and there's 40 or 50. Okay. So this this one, the whole one, if you order this small one, is yeah. 1,650. Okay, that's not bad. You have like party. How many gallons? I said four gallons. Four gallons, yeah? Four gallons, no. Yeah, four gallons. That's not bad then, is it? Not bad. So if you, if you buy a little, if you buy a little tub in Robinson's, you're paying what, 250 for a small? So that's, that's probably like 
20 tubs, so it's much better value. Yeah. And it's, it's probably nicer as well, as it's freshly made, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it looks nice. Looks really nice. Avocado ice cream. Mm -hmm. Something like uh, back in the UK, wasn't it? Having an ice cream. You don't tend to have it too much, but when you come to the seaside, and there we are, all Mock Bay, looking beautiful, looking calm, looking clean as well. Very clean. I don't think I've seen the beach quite as clean as this for quite some time. You call it a beach, it's not really a white sandy beach, but it's definitely a clean beach, or much cleaner than it has been. They're, they're working as you can see in the background. So, how's the ice cream? Yummy. Really nice. Yeah. It's simple, like it's not too sweet, it's not, mm. you know, it's just right. Homemade. Homemade. It's funny, it's the same color as your top. <laughs> I don't know if I spin it then, if I spill it. <laughs> nice, it's really nice. So we're by the seafront and it's just nice to be here. The sound of the water behind us. The, mm -hmm. uh, having an ice cream. It's what you did in England on holiday. Now, holiday vacations. It is about a school will finish in May, but before then, we're still gonna travel a little bit. We have plans tomorrow to go somewhere. Yeah. The vlog will be up a bit later in the week. But beyond that, when Isabella does finish school, we're gonna get out a lot more. We've been a bit confined to the house as of late. That's pretty much due to the weather, but also Isabella's school comes first. So we have to be careful. We can't go too far out. Can't leave her alone or with family too much as her needs are very important. You only get one chance at education. You can't, you can't take it for granted. No. But beyond that, in the summer, in the coming months, we're gonna get out and go places to different places in Leyte, but also beyond that, to different islands. We're going to visit a white beach here in Leyte. Mm. There is some nice one that we haven't been there yet so hopefully soon by April or end this month hopefully we get out and about and explore a little bit and find it we have the weekends to travel we're gonna make the most of the weekends when this weather's like this January February was so wet we tried a couple of mm. times to plan but every day in the morning yeah. it just seemed to open up the skies the rain came down or the rain was on the horizon and you really want to make the most of it. You want to get out and have weather like this. Really make the most of it, really enjoy. So we're going to be getting out and about. Drop us a comment. Where in Leyte do you think we should go? And where beyond that? Where are good places to visit? We've been to Barocco, we've been to Bahol, but beyond that, we really want to explore. Drop us a comment with your suggestions and we'll see what we can do. strawberries here in Omok City. Behind me, once we finish these planters, hopefully we'll have many, many more for years to come. <laughs> <laughs> 